In this lesson, we're going to explore the brush tool and all the different settings that we have within it to actually design and style out our haircut. Okay, we're going to continue on with this previous file, and if you haven't um, saved it, you could actually load up my Lesson 3 file. And let's go ahead and activate the brush tool. There we go. So let's talk about some of these modes here. The very first mode is the translate or move mode. Okay, and again, we've kind of played with this earlier. This allows us to uh, actually take the hairs and pull them into a, a cool shape that we want, that we want the hair to kind of emulate while we're creating this. Okay, so there we go. Now the next tool is the scale tool. Now what I like about this tool is it doesn't just look at uh, and cut this off. It actually, as I click and drag, it, it really does scale in and holds the shape. Okay, so if I go to the left, I scale down. If I go to the right, I scale up. Okay, so I'll just scale this around here. Now, something I want you to be aware of is if you go through the side view like this, something that you'll have to kind of be conscious of is know that it will move right through the polygon object or whatever type of object you're working with. So the object itself will not occlude the scaling function. Okay, So what I mean by that is I'm working on this hair right here. If I scale it way down, I got a bald spot over here on this side now. So you'll just have to be aware of that as you're working. Okay. So let's say I want to undo that. Do not use control Z because that will not undo the shave operation. What you'll need to do is go up here to this undo button, hit that, and there will undo the last shave haircut operation. Okay. Just, just so you are aware of how that works. Now, let me uh, open this next one, which is rotate. Now, what this will allow me to do is if I rotate, if I move to the left, I rotate to the, um, the object moves clockwise. If I go the other way, it moves counterclockwise. And I can use this to create some really cool wavy looking kind of hairstyle. Let me just load this in here. There we go. And then if you know if you don't like it, you can just pull this and straighten it out, add some more rotation to it. Depending on what you're trying to go for. Here we're gonna to try to clump these up. And I think we're gonna to try to go for like an Einstein style hair. Okay, so let's pull these like this. I'll pull those out and then I'll curve those like that. And you can see how it bends those guide hairs and really gets you a cool look. Okay, so I got those like this, and I'll just move those up. All right, awesome. So let's talk about maybe adjusting some of those hairs. And we can scale those in just a bit. All right, so as you can see, it's very easy to get sidetracked and uh, carried away as you're making these hairs these hair systems. Okay, so the next one that we want to talk about is um, standing the hairs on end. Okay, so a good example, let me go to my side view here. I'm actually going to pull back just a little bit. Right here on these um, sideburn hairs, I'm going to click and drag. Okay, and if I go to my perspective mode, you'll see that I stood these hairs out just like in the default the way they were drawn. So similar to us aligning them to their normal, uh, if I click and drag, you see here, um, I will straighten out my those hairs and get them to stick straight out. Okay, very useful. So let me go back to my side view so I can illustrate the next one, which is puffing. So let me just move in here and I'll just gonna move these hairs back. Now if you notice, as I'm pulling these back, they're disappearing into the head. So if I go inside, zoom in, let me pull out here. There we go. We pull into the head here. You can see there's my hairs that are sticking out. Okay, so let me go back to my side view and let's use the puff. So let me grab those hairs again and access my brush tool. This next tool is puff and what that does is literally what it says it takes that hair and it puffs it back outside of the geometry 
Okay, and I'm doing both sides as I speak here. And there we go. And you can see here now it's puffed right back out. The other side is also done. So that's done. And last but not least, we have the ability to clump some of these hairs. So that's what this brush will do is allow us to take and clump these together. So I'll pull these in. Okay, I'm going to just pull to the right a little bit. Okay, and you can see how it pulls those together. Okay, and it just draws them together, clumps those hairs. So, like I said, you could have a tremendous amount of fun going through all of these different brushes. Just keep in mind that as you're brushing out this hair, you'll want to uh, make sure that if you have to undo, you do use this undo button right up here. Now, let's take a quick render of this. All right, and there we go. We've got some kind of, kind of rough Einstein-looking haircut here, and we don't have a very clear stiff part so we're gonna work on that next is actually get ourselves a nice clean part here it's not too bad I'm gonna exaggerate it just a bit just to see if we can um, separate those out let me pull in some of these hairs just just to make it a little bit there we go so we've got some little stray hairs here and we'll be able to adjust those with our interpolation setting there we go so this will this will help us demonstrate this a little bit easier. So I'm going to take a render of this and save it. All right, very good. And it's just a rough start here. You can see we've got a couple little strays, but we're going to work on that. And in future lessons, we'll get through you know the actual sizing and color and all that stuff. But this is roughly the hairstyle that we're wanting to get created. Kind of this kind of Einstein-looking haircut here, and we'll scale these out a bit. And there you go. So see if you can create a hairstyle that's something similar to this. Maybe just kind of even them out a little bit. There we go.